Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry. Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. I apologize. Uh, we Hopefully, everyone can see me, uh, see my screen, I mean, and uh, I've got a hand, hand up for the, <laughs> if you can see me, hopefully. Um, just, yeah, thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. All right, so we do have some things to get through today. Um, today is December 10th. You can see we're just frazzled because we're coming down to the end of open enrollment for a January 1st effective date. So I thought it was important to kind of go through these dates and make sure that um, we all have an understanding of the cutoff. Now, as you know, for all on exchange business for a 1-1 effective date, the cutoff is December 15th. Um, so be mindful of that. I've not heard of any extension until the 31st for a first of the month or first of the year effective date. But of course, I will let you know if we do hear that. Typically, the last couple of years with any extension, they come in at the 11th hour. So I don't expect to hear anything uh, before Monday if there is even going to be an extension. Um, but again, if there is, I will certainly let everyone know. But Let's just plan that it's the 15th, which is Tuesday. That's the cutoff. So for on exchange, again, 1-1 one, one effective date, the cutoff is 12-15. For off exchange with Highmark, it's 12-15. So be mindful of that. And remember, that's a paper application submission process for off exchange to us. If you email us the app, we'll submit that for you. Um, for off exchange for Capital Blue Cross, the cutoff is 12-28. Off exchange for UPMC, 1231, uh, Aetna, Coventry, that's the 15th as well for off exchange. So really with very few exceptions, Capital and UPMC, the cutoff is 1215 for on and off. For, for URL, if we're processing your 1-1 business for off exchange, um, we're asking that you get the applications to us no later than Tuesday the 15th at 10 a.m. If they come in after and, and if they're not complete, we cannot guarantee that we can get them in for a 1-1 effective date. We'll let you know if we can't and uh, we'll have to proceed with a 2-1 effective date. So just, again, be mindful of that. There's an awful lot of applications coming in and thank you so much for that business, first of all. but. Um, we do want to make sure that we have enough time to process all of that business for 1-1. So again, 10 a.m. on Tuesday the 15th. So the next bullet point, EBIX, Health Connect, what a stinking disappointment. I hear everyone out there. I agree. Um, Capital Blue Cross is still not on. Um, Capital Blue Cross, they, the EBIX went through all the uploading of, of all of the information. They sent the information over to Capital for approval. Um, that was delayed a little bit. Capital sent back revisions. The revisions um, as of Tuesday evening were approved or, or completed and then sent back over to Capital for approval. So at this point, you know, one of my agent partners said, you know, why bother? And I agree. Um, unfortunately, for for this cycle, the one ones with capital, they just weren't showing on that system. So it's a disappointment to myself, and I'm sure to, to many of you. Again, we will help you with quotes uh, as much as we can. There's also paper rates on our site. Not an ideal situation, but unfortunately, that's um, what we can offer. So the next bullet point, um, through a couple years now, we've heard the Highmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and UPMC um, uh, issues. Um, and there is some notification that they just sent out, which will be in my newsletter. And uh, the arbitration with Highmark on the Highmark fee schedule change that was implemented in 2014 for oncology services at UPMC. They were concluded on November 11th. Arbitrators determined that the fee schedule change was not permitted under UPMC's hospital contract. And as a result, additional monies are owed to UPMC for such services. UPMC was previously paid a lower amount for these services. So Highmark is going to do a lump sum settlement with UPMC, and that's going to cover the entire unpaid claims adjustment liability. As a consequence, and to avoid impact, 
on members. Uh, adjusting claims will not be processed, and members will not be responsible for any additional cost sharing that would have resulted from such claims being reprocessed. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, they go on to say that self-funded clients will only be invoiced for their claims cost liability, but not any member cost sharing over the next few weeks. And uh, thought it was important for all the Western PA folks to um, hear that. Again, the full details will be in my newsletter that went out yes, uh, will be going out today. Um, Independence Blue Cross. Uh, we talked about Highmark Blue Shield Central requiring FFM certification for both on and off exchange for their product. IBX has taken the same stance. Um, so if you want to sell IBX off marketplace, you need certified for the FFM as well. I just found this out. I didn't see it in any notification. Um, so again, I wanted, you to let, wanted to update you on that. Cat Blue Cross PCP numbers, they're going to be available on the producer portal um, because there were some discrepancies in finding those PCPs. So go on to the producer portal and portal and you'll be able to pull up um, that information. So that brings us to the open forum. Again, I apologize for coming in here late. Um, just a reminder, next webinar is Thursday, December 17th, December 17th at 9.30. And uh, the following Thursday is, is December 24th, and there will be no webinar on December 24th. So uh, just be mindful of that as well. And at this point, we'll open it up for questions. And it looks like we don't have many, but we have some. Dave asks, are the providers very restricted on the Highmark Select Resources, Inc., Alliance Flex Blue PPO 1000 for Cumberland County? Um, the Alliance plans both the $2,100 and the $1,000 deductible, those plans are built around Hershey Med and the Pinnacle Health Systems. So they are restrictive in that your providers have to be within those hospital systems and provider systems. And it works very similar to, to the Community Blue programs of last year and this year where there's a lower deductible such as $1,000 or $2,100 for those quote unquote enhanced alliance providers um, and then the deductible doubles and you have greater cost sharing for um, for the standard level of providers. So I hope that makes sense, Dave. Uh, there are, I, I can send you uh, SBCs for both that will explain that. And that's it. Those are our questions today. And uh, once again, I, I really appreciate everyone joining in. I'm so sorry that uh, I, I jumped in here late just kind of one of those weeks, I suppose. But uh, I always appreciate you joining in and your support and your loyalty to URL and supporting us by sending your business to us. We appreciate it. And uh, I wish you all a very happy end of the week and a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.